Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Trisha and in today's video, we are going thrifting. I have a huge haul I'm going to share today, but before we do that, come along with me to the thrift store. Today's thrifting adventure are from both locations of my thrift store. This particular day was pretty rainy and cold, but the excitement of thrifting always gets me through those type of days. First things first, let's check out the colors of the day because we are on the hunt for those 50% off items. This is the little pit stop I always take before I go in just to see if there's anything of interest. I really like this vase. The colors are so beautiful. It was pretty large, 60 bucks at the thrift store. I feel I can get this at Home Goods for about that price. Oh, he looks angry. Maybe he's wondering why Santa is still here looking for the North Pole. <laughs> so as usual, I head to the back wall to get started. And of course, I always get distracted with these pillows. I'm going to take a quick look through and see if there's anything interesting. So getting started on the back wall, this was the first guy that caught my eye. I thought he was pretty unique. It looked like he was a mix of metal and pottery. I couldn't find anything on him but 20 bucks and white labels were not 50% off so I left him. I've been seeing quite a bit of handmade pottery. Look at this little vase, how cute it is. I regret not picking this up for five bucks. This was too beautiful.
You guys remember this from the last haul. I got vases in the same design in the green colors. Oh, I'm so tempted to get this, but I think I have enough jugs. I contemplated these plates for a little while. I thought they were so beautiful. There were five of the little ones and about seven of the bigger ones. And separately, there were these little bowls that looked like they matched. What's difficult is when it's taped up like this, I can't hold the plate individually. And the weight of the plate really matters to me. I don't always have the time but when I do I try to look through as many of the artwork and frames as I can. You can find some nuggets. I have to say some of the prices are really high. Now this is original art. They were $40 a piece. Not a bad price but just not what you would expect at a thrift store. Oh wow, check out the size of this vase. Probably about four feet tall. Really beautiful. I mean, I love it, but I'm not sure where I would put something like that. I don't know if you guys picked up from being with me at the thrift store that I have been gravitating to things with a lot of color. I've been doing a little makeover in my patio pool area. So I was looking a little bit closer to see if I could find things that I can use outside that would stand to the weather that I could use to decorate that area. I didn't find too much, but... I did get this little pillow. Giraffes are my favorite. I love the neutral with the pop of color. I think this would work nicely somewhere in my back patio area. It was $2.99. It does have a zipper, so it's easy to wash. I think it would look nice back there. This is a little wooden serving tray. It has dry pressed flowers on the inside. It's definitely handmade. It's signed by Bariloche. It was $8, and I think that this would be really nice for the springtime into the summer. It can be used as a serving tray or even just set on a coffee table, maybe outside, inside with some decorative items on it. I thought it was so unique. I love the colors and um, I think that this was a nice little find. Um, this is a handmade piece of pottery which I absolutely adore. I think she is adorable. I love the expression on her face. She could just sit on a shelf and look pretty. Or this can be a bookend, whether the books are this way and she's on the side or facing this way. It is handmade. It's signed by Dave Grossman, DSG. I don't know if you can see that on the bottom there. 
Uh, this was a blue tag item, which was 50% off that day. So I paid five bucks and she is so adorable. I love the detailing. I like that she has one full ear on this side and half of her hair, half of her ear is covered by her hair. I love the simple expression on her face and I think this is great for shell styling. Next is this little frame. I thought this was so cute. It's definitely vintage. It may even be antique. I was trying to see if there was a date on it. This is a little oval frame and inside is this uh, paper made like 3D little girl sitting at a desk, little cat underneath if you can see. I didn't mention this before but I am currently in my new office slash guest room that is not finished but I wanted to see if I could start doing my videos in here. I'm in front of a big window so I get a lot of natural light. I'm testing out this spot to see if I like it. But anyway, I have something that I want to do on the wall in here and I think that she would be really nice as part of that. Like a little bit of a gallery wall but a vintage gallery wall. And at $1.99 I thought it was really good. Now it, it did fall and I stuck the back part in and I was able to see what was written on it. It doesn't have a year. It says American Greetings Corporation Cleveland MCN. I thought it would have had a year in it, but I guess it doesn't. But let me just show you guys. So it's a little piece of uh, paper made art. It does remind me of when I was a child, I used to play with paper dolls quite a lot. And this does remind me of that. I think this might be my favorite item in this haul. It's so adorable, I love it. Anyway, on to the next item. The next item is this little bud vase. It is made of wood and each side has a different uh, texture. So this is more like a raw cut of the wood and so is this side, but then this side, it has it's three sides, which is unique in itself. And then this side is pretty smooth with a little bit of a small top on there. It says Mountain Handcrafts Company. The article is called Fence Post Weed Vase and it's signed by the person that made it. I did pay full price, this was eight bucks. I like that it's handmade. Very interesting little bud vase. Okay, so if you've been on my channel before, you have seen lots of um, cutting boards, cheese boards, quite a bit of those. I look for the nice quality wood, things that are made of teak and, and hardwoods that I can refinish and, you know, make it new again. And I do have quite a bit, but sometimes when I see them, I just can't resist. These, I want to use them in my kitchen for, you know, cutting up vegetables or whatever. The others that I got in the past, the cheese board I use as a riser, the other boards I I use as charcuterie boards so I don't cut anything on them so these I did the same thing I cleaned them up they had a, quite a bit of scratching on them did the same process of sanding I used an 80 grit sandpaper on one of them because the scratches were really deep and then I did 120 grit then I went up to 220 grit now the last time I finished them up using Odie's universal oil which is a food safe oil. Oils are not as rigorous in terms of protection. And because those were charcuterie boards, I was just gonna be putting some cheese and crackers on it. It was fine for those. But since I'm gonna be using these in my kitchen for cutting up vegetables, I use a shellac to protect these. I did two to three coats on each side. And I think shellac gives the best protection when it comes to a food safe top coat. And this is what they turned out to be. This is the Nambe board. It is a cheese board, so it is missing the knife. I know someone was asking me if I went back to get the knife for the other one, but I didn't even bother trying because that round one that I got, I, I still use it as a riser, so I don't really care to get the knife. And in this case, I don't care to get the knife either because I would be using it to cut vegetables and it really refinished well. Whatever scratches were on there, I was able to get it off. And this is the other one. I think this one had a lot of scratches on this side, 
so i was able to sand it all the way down this side the same thing it really came out so beautiful i love 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 these this one is made by saunder los angeles they both look like they're made of teak i'm not sure i haven't done the research yet but i think they're made of teak and they're so beautiful The next item that had me really excited was this little tea light. It is made of some type of marble or alabaster marble. This was $3.99. It was not on sale, so I paid full price, but it's definitely a cute little decor piece. I also got this little tray. I guess it's an ashtray, but I have an idea of how I'm going to use this. Not for ashes. <laughs> I love the colors in it. It's definitely some type of stone and it has this stripe detail on it. It was $2.99 so I did pay full price. It's marked at the back 1856 Italy. I don't think it's as old as 1856. This might actually be saying V85B. I am not sure. Mexican pottery bowls. I did pick them both up. They were half price, so $4 for both. I think because they were half price, it kind of pushed me in the direction of getting them. But these are also really neat for the spring, summertime, outdoor entertaining. Not super thrilled, but I thought they were cute. Notos Carlson Golnik Costa Nova Portugal. All of that. I did take some time to decide on this one because I was trying to figure out if it was a planter or if it was a bowl because it was so heavy. I love the colors and I love that detailing on the side. It almost looks like a linen type finish on the side with the black on the inside. I did look it up and found them to be quite valuable. $12.99, I paid $6.50 for this bowl. I also got this one, which is not the same brand as that one. This is at home brand i'm not sure who sells that brand but it was 99 cents quite a substantial bowl it's very similar um in terms of the color so this one is smooth with a little bit of a texture on the bottom whereas this one is smooth on the top with that linen texture on the bottom so they're very similar and they're both neutral so they can be used any time of year and both are both are convenient to have you could never have enough right guys know I have been attracted to colored glass. I love the color, the amber color, and the little scallop detail around the top. For $1.99, I thought it was worth picking it up. Next item is this little plate. Coal Port Indian Tree Coral 1801. Decorative plate. I love the color. This was in really good shape. I love the little gold detail around the edge. There were no chips or cracks. I paid $2.99 for this one. Here's another really beautiful find. This is made by Staffordshire, England. I thought it was really unique to find both the plate and the bowl. Really beautiful colors and both in good shape. I did take a quick look on eBay to see what these were being resold for and they are pretty valuable. So I think at $23, this was a good find. Okay, so I also got this really tall a uh, lamp not lamp a uh, candle stand it was the most expensive item that i picked up it was priced at 30 dollars, but red tags were 50 percent off so i paid 15. this as it is doesn't really fit into my style or my decor but i've been on the hunt for something like this for a little while now i love the size and the height and it's perfect for an upcycling project that i have in mind you guys are going to have to stay tuned to see what I do with this. These are items from my thrift haul in January. January is a good time to keep an eye out for leftover Christmas items. I did get a couple of what I would consider Christmas decor. First is this little pillow. These little things are going to go. I don't particularly like that boho type style. This is kind of, but... I love the off-white color and the textures on it. And I only realized it didn't have a zipper when I got home. But I'm still going to wash it. 
the whole thing just like that in the wash it has to wash this is also a modern piece it was half price originally three dollars i paid a dollar fifty for it i don't know there's something about this that i really like it seems sculptural simple but yet something that i can use no matter what christmas colors i go with of course you guys know i cannot do a haul without some brass in there this was half price so 4.99 quite a slender looking deer. I really liked him. I think that this would be something that I would use in the future. So this was one of the two brass items and the other one is this cute bell. This is also a pretty heavy piece. So I paid five bucks for this, but I thought it was worth it. Very unique looking. Both brass items are holiday decor. So they are going to get put away with these other items until later on this year. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it inspired you to go out and look for those treasures. And if you have haven't already be sure you subscribe like this video and let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you enjoyed this one you might enjoy this video so go take a look at it i'll see you all in the next one bye